gives a toast at her own wedding? I mean, who does that? Who stands in the middle of a ballroom after three glasses of champagne on a completely empty stomach? And I mean completely empty. Empty. Full. Stomach. Internal organ that first begins to process food or just mean belly. After three glasses of champagne on a completely empty stomach, and I mean completely empty. <laughs> because fitting into this dress required no solid food for three straight weeks. Who does that? I do. <laughs> Require. Need for a purpose. Demand to have. Because fitting into this dress required no solid food for three straight weeks. Beauty requires sacrifice. This day is perfect. It's like a dream. Or a nightmare if you're my father. Nightmare. Bad dream that can left a strong negative emotional response in your mind. It's like a dream. Or a nightmare if you're my father. How much for the flowers? Who eats mushroom caps? Do the caterers have any idea what the Jews just went through a few years ago? Two cakes, one for eating. We're very happy. Do the caterers have any idea what the Jews just went through a few years ago? Do the caterers have any idea what the Jews just went through a few years ago? Caterer, a person or company that provides food and drink and serves banquets. I was going to meet a man, a perfect man. He would be 6'4 and blonde and his name would be Dashiell or Stafford or... Joel, Joel Maisel. I was going to meet a man. A perfect man. <laughs> Joel Maisel was my knight in shining armor. A gift from God. And he thought I was brilliant. Knight in shining armor. And because it's better than anything I could have imagined, I thought I should get up here today and tell all of you that I love this man. What are you doing? I have to go. I have to leave. You. I have to leave you. That's my suitcase. Suitcase. That's my suitcase. You gonna leave me with my suitcase? Joel, tomorrow's Yom Kippur. I'm, I'm, I'm not happy. Nobody's happy. It's Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur, the most important of the holidays in Judaism. Nobody's happy. It's Yom Kippur. I should go. No, but please, I, I don't understand. I thought my life was going to be something different. Do you ever think you were supposed to be something, and uh, and and you suddenly realize you're not? Yes. Married. Suddenly, quickly, unexpectedly, and without any warning. Realize. Understand clearly, or another meaning, make real. Do you ever think you were supposed to be something, and uh, and you, and you suddenly realize you're not, and you suddenly realize you're not? Joel, you can't just leave. I love you. We have a home. We have children. They're gonna notice. I have to go. No, no, no. Wait. I will be better. I will do better. I, I'll I'll pay more attention. I've been me. having an affair. Affair, romantic or sexual relationship between two people. Especially, one that is outside marriage. I've been having an affair. So you'll tell your parents for me? <laughs> oh, that might be the funniest thing you've ever said. Rush! I'm here, my God. What are you wearing? It's not thinning. I have something to tell you. You should both sit. Joel left. Wear. To have on the body or carry on the person, clothing, jewelry. What are you wearing? It's not thinning. Why? What did you do? Nothing. I, I didn't do anything. He's, he's in love with his secretary. Did you know this? Did you know he was having an affair? No, of course I didn't know. God. The girl, is she... Oh, my God. Is she pregnant? Pregnant. Oh, my God. Is she pregnant? <laughs> Shit. What did you talk like that around him? Did you use sailor no, talk? No, I didn't use sailor talk. Sailor talk. Speak using disrespectful, dirty words. Sailor. Did you use sailor no, talk? No, I didn't use sailor talk. She must have been pregnant. A man doesn't leave unless the girlfriend is pregnant. What the hell is he doing in there? He's mad. You and me? Shh. They're here. They're here. Them. Them. Who is them? Oh, oh God. Mama. Oh, God. Papa. 
mad, to become angry, or totally crazy. He's mad at me? Shh. Why are you mad? I didn't do anything wrong. When I agreed to send you to that fancy Goisha college, what was the one thing I told you? They'll have terrible deli. Deli. Food store, where there is a choice of dishes, prepared there. What was the one thing I told you? They'll have terrible deli. The important thing I told you. That was about deli, too. The other important thing I told you. Don't pick a weak man. Uh, this isn't my fault. Of course it's your fault. Fault. Failure to have or do what is required. Responsibility for an accident or misfortune. This isn't my fault. Of course it's your fault. Oh, shit! Mama, please stop crying. Everything we bring on ourselves is our own fault. He was a good husband. He, he was a good provider. What are you going to do now? Provider. A person who procures what is wanted, or a person or company that provides something. Oh. A good husband. He, he was a good provider. What are your children going to do? Mama, for the love of God, please stop crying in that bedroom. This isn't fair. Oh, no! Much better, thanks! Life isn't fair. It's hard and cruel. Fair, objectively, by rules, or moral standards, or merit. Cruel, with pain, or suffering to others, without mercy or pity. This isn't fair. Life isn't fair. It's hard and cruel. You have to pick your friends as if there's a war going on. You want a husband who'll take a bullet for you, not one who points to the attic and says, they're up there. Attic. Space just below the roof. Not one who points to the attic and says, they're up there. How can you say that about Joel? You liked him. I knew what he was. Why didn't you tell me then? I uh, did tell when? you. When? When did you tell me? When you first came home with him that night, I looked at you. I asked, is this the choice? And you said yes. I knew what he was. Why didn't you tell me then? I knew what he was. Why didn't you tell me then? I uh, did tell when? you. When? When did you tell me? And you said yes. That was telling me? I have to spell it out for you. Spell out. Explain in detail, or in a very clear way. Say, or read, the letters of a word, one by one. That was telling me? I have to spell it out for you. You need a husband, and those children need a father. What am I supposed to do, go buy one at Sabar's? You fix your face, put on his favorite dress, then you go out, find him, and make him come back home. I was going to meet a man. You, I have to be you. You sailor talk. Uh -huh. You sailor talk. Don't Oh, we